Welcome to my big food adventure. I'm Greg Wallace and today I'm on the beautiful Sussex coast. I'm in a town that punches well above its weight when it comes to fishing. I'm in Hastings. Hastings' history of fishing is as old as the town itself. Fishing boats have sailed from this beach known as the Stade for over a thousand years. Hardly surprising then that one of the most popular visitor attractions in Hastings is the Fishing Museum. Well worth a visit. What we've got in the museum, apart from the, the central exhibit, which is the last surviving uh, Hastings lugger, uh, we've got a huge amount of information, pictures, paintings, models of and about Hastings fishing. This boat was built in 1912. It fished until the early 1950s. And then when it reached the end of its fishing life, instead of having sails, the modern fishing boats now have engines, which not only helps them to fish, but also helps them to pull the nets up. In these days, the men would have to pull the nets up with this capstan, which is a hand-operated capstan, and then they would pull the nets up over the side of the boat, and you can see the indentations in the side of the boat being made by the ropes over the years of nets being pulled aboard the boat. I love the winding little narrow streets of Hastings Old Town, but there's a contemporary feel about it now too, like here with the Jerwood Gallery. Hastings has a fine tradition of fishing. In fact, it's probably the oldest fishing fleet in Britain. What is true is it's Europe's largest beach-launched fishing fleet. Paul Joy, he's head of the fleet. It's him I've come to have a coffee with this morning. Morning, Paul. Morning, nice to meet what you. What can you tell me about the state of play of modern fishing for Hastings? Well, the fishing's very good at the moment. Uh, there's lots of fish. The air problems is the ability to catch it up in a quota situation. That's their main problem, but the fish is abundant, the stocks are very good. So as a, as a punter, as a visitor, am I likely to still see fish landing on the beach? Am I likely to be able to buy it? Yes, you can buy it, of course, yeah. And uh, you can buy it from the stalls at the top. We have a, what we call boy ashores, which is a contradiction in terms. It's a, a boy is a normally a retired old fisherman. But uh, they have the ability to sell under local bylaws the fish, a little piece of fish from each boat and gives them an income as well. That's fabulous. As a visitor, what should I look out for if I visit Hastings? Uh, one of the most important things is to see the industry in the whole town, the fishing industry, which goes back for many generations. It's part of our cultural heritage of the town. What, 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 anything coming up? Well, we have a lot of festivals that promote the local produce. The Seafood and Wine Festival, uh, we, have, we have a Herring Festival, and we also have festivals in Rye and Bexhill. Are you from a line of, of fishermen? Have your family always fished here? Yes, we can trace our heritage back a thousand years. No way! Yeah, seriously, we've been here before the Norman Conquest. And you can see Hastings' fine fishing tradition all over the town. You are part of a fine, fine tradition. There is another fine tradition that I'm keen to sample. You know what that is, don't you? Fish and chips. Thank you very much indeed. Well, brilliantly situated on top of the fresh fish market is Maggie's. Iconic fish and chip cafe, been in Hastings for over 20 years. You can see why, can't you? <laughs> it's a lovely day, I'm enjoying myself for sunny Hastings. I've been really impressed with the fishing. What I want now is an old fashioned fishmonger's. You must be sunny. I am sunny. Good to meet you. Good I, can't, to meet I you don't too. think I've ever seen a fishmonger so close to the sea. Yeah, we're very lucky. We're probably what, 50 paces, and then we would be on the fishing beach that uh, caught this fish. How yeah. much of the fish you've got here is actually off, off the local fishermen? Today, we're about 50% of this is local from these boats here, 50 paces away. You are very lucky, aren't you? We are. It's easy to forget how lucky we are. Um, visitors to the town come here and they're thrilled, delighted to see such a display of local fresh fish. It's easy to take it for granted. Personally, I don't. I do appreciate how lucky we are. Yeah, it's an, I'm excited. It's, it's an amazing array of fish. Is it, is it a family business? Did you, did you take it on from your, from your dad? Or? 
Yeah, my mum and dad established this rock and all fisheries in 1977-78, so it's getting up to 40 years we've been here. Are you are you smoking in here? Because we are, yeah. yeah. Because it, yeah, yeah, it's the unmistakable smell, it, smell yeah. of smoke. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're doing at the moment. We're doing a few local kippers first of the season. We're just finishing off some salmon, and we've just done a hot smoke as well. So you wouldn't let me come round and have a look. look. Of course, Can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's have a look. So here we are. Oh, -ho! A bit of mackerel there, just finishing off, and in this side. Whoa! Hot smoked salmon and a few buckling. Can you take me through the process? Tell me how you do that. Yeah, what we do with the salmon, we get the whole fish, fillet them, pin bone them, trim the fat off, and then we brine it. When it's had enough time, we rack it up, dry it, and that smoking process today took about five hours. Can I be cheeky? Is there any chance I can taste some of this? Of course, my pleasure. Really? Yeah. You're a fine gentleman, you know that? Who doesn't love a bit of smoked salmon? Everybody loves smoked salmon, I hope. That really is gorgeous. Good. That is absolutely gorgeous. Nice. We taste the smokiness, but yeah. the natural sweetness that salmon comes through. Good. Thank you, Sonny. I've learned quite a bit today. Every day's a school day, Greg. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I fancy learning some more. In fact, right. I've heard there's a very good fish cookery school just around the corner. What, what exactly is Classroom on the Coast? Um, predominantly it's a uh, fish cookery school and uh, just teaching people how to cook fish because lots of people don't really know that it's sort of intimidated by cooking fish um, and because we're literally minutes from, from the Hastings fleet uh, the fish comes in fresh and lands here and we show really a lot of locals what's on their, their doorstep really. Who's the typical customer? Um, I think uh, a lot of them cook. They cook a lot at home and they're interested in food uh, and they cook everything apart from fish. Uh, they order it in restaurants um, and they, they want to know how to fill it or you know how to choose fish. Well, you most certainly know how to cook a piece of fish. However, I want to go and meet the man who's been cooking and selling fish in Hastings longer than anybody else. A man by the name of Tush. This is Tush. A well-known face here in Hastings. You've been here for a long time, my friend. And this is the famous Patton Tush store. I have to confess I've been here before. <laughs> right, Could you explain what it is you do here, sir? Well, Greg, we, we uh, literally cook, cook fish and put it in a bread roll. We cook it in olive oil. We cook whatever the boats bring in. I fillet it in the mornings. We open up here about 11 o'clock and uh, cook whatever they bring in. The two things you can guarantee. One is it's as fresh as you like. And, t and two, it's from local waters. Oh yeah, definitely. In fact, swimming about yesterday, so simple as that. You've been a fisherman, a fishmonger, and a fish fryer. Fish fryer, yeah. Fish smoker, <laughs> fish villager. <laughs> We're very fishy. Without being rude, should we stop talking and start cooking me some fish? Fine, fine. Not the magic thing is the fish. The fish was swimming about yesterday. How do you know when it's done? I really don't know. I can't answer that question. I just know. Thank you very much. Let's have a go at it. That is lovely. Fried, crispy, hot fish, fresh from the sea. That's beautiful. Well, I've come to the end of my day here in Hastings, sampling the amazing array of fish on offer. It's only a short train ride from London, so why not come down here yourself to taste fish the way it's meant to be eaten? Straight from the sea.